concerned parties hoping Grand Lands bus drivers could return to work on Friday. It's a commitment that for either side that we want everything to the best of Grenada, Carico and Peter Matnik. Details to this and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I'm Leslie and Johnson Cornwall. Officials from the Grenada Transport Board, senior members of the Ministry of Works and others who met with representatives of the Grand Dance Bus Association on Thursday are hoping the bus drivers will return to work on Friday. A meeting was held at the Ministry of Works to discuss a number of outstanding matters, chief among them the saturation of the Grand Dance bus route. The bus drivers took strike action earlier this week to highlight some of the issues they face. Ministry of Works representative John St. Louis spoke with GIS following the meeting at the Ministry of Works and he said it was also suggested that there should be a representative from the National Bus Association on the Grenada Transport Board. I think this meeting today was a very good one. We, we did exchange on either side what we think the way forward to be and hope that by tomorrow they, everybody gets back to doing the normal work as, as should and would have a negative impact on the motoring population or the, the commuters' prudence and so forth. St. Louis says their main concern now is alleviating the pressure being felt by those affected by the action. What we got from them that, I mean, we, we it was to listen to each side. You know, they had issues, we had our issues, and to come to an amicable solution. As I said, some of the solutions wouldn't be a, a, a tomorrow solution, but all that we can do, they, they did, I mean, a, ask for certain consideration, which we say yes, but we have to go through in a... We can't just jump the gun as that. We have to go through in the normal way of that things should be at the end of the day. We don't, you know, everybody satisfied. It's a kind of a win-win situation. A new policy is currently being developed for the school books program to ensure greater efficiency and to strengthen the role of the Ministry of Education in managing the program. Minister of State responsible for Human Resource Development, Senator Simon Steele, says the policy will also seek to ensure that families who cannot afford to purchase the books are best served. It should be in effect for the start of the new school year. The task force will be put in place to oversee the development of the policy, the different strategies and mechanisms that will be put in place to, um, to properly manage this program. And that will include both ministry and non-ministry staff. This is the National Report. More news after the break. Do you know that a Rights and Freedom Amendment Bill makes clear that freedom of expression includes freedom of the press and other media. Support constitution reform to protect and promote your rights. With just two weeks to go before the historic referendum in Grenada, Attorney General Kajitan Hood is calling on Grenadians to take advantage of the opportunity to help shape their own constitution by ensuring they have an input in the process of constitution reform. Seven bills have been proposed for the referendum, Name of State, Elections and Boundaries Commission, Caribbean Court of Justice, Rights and Freedoms Bill, Term Limits of a Prime Minister, Fixed Date for Elections and Appointment of a Leader of the Opposition. A two-thirds majority is needed to carry each bill on Referendum Day, October 27th. It is the first time that you will have an opportunity to change the principal law in your country, the Constitution. It's the highest law in the country. And that's the reason why the Constitution has been framed in this way, so that it is only the people, by a resounding two-thirds majority, can effect any change to the Constitution. With regard to the Caribbean Court of Justice, Mr. Hood says we have reached the level of maturity to have our own judges appointed to look over the affairs of the Caribbean. Of course it is more accessible to have our own court. And those of you who, are, who would have listened to the presidential debate, when you hear people talking about political influence, look at the American system. The candidates are saying, I want to be president and I will select my judges. That's what's happening. Because one is, one is accusing the other one of selecting judges 
that will lean towards one side or the other. We don't even have that in the CCG. And that's the National Report. I'm Leslie and Johnson Cornwall.